Um, I think that if you have, let's say I had a dream to be a writer. Once I had gone to school and learned a little bit more and had been writing for a while, I began to realize that this is also a profession like any other profession and that you had to learn uh, to find the ways to make that successful. It's difficult to make a living as a writer. Very few writers do make a living. In fact, when I did my master's degree in creative writing, the first thing our teacher said was, you won't make a living as a writer. Now, what else are you going to do to support yourself while you do this? The, um, the competition is very high, for one thing. The possibility of getting published is small. I'm lucky that I publish, that I have a publishing track record, that I've been able to sustain a career as a writer. But I had, a, I had another job most of my life. Um, I spent 18 years doing marketing. I worked for, like I said, Cafe Pacific. I've worked for several other uh, multinationals in America and in Hong Kong as well. And then uh, I also lived in Singapore. I worked for Federal Express at one point and also for the Asian Wall Street Journal and some ad, ad agencies as well. And all that experience is actually very good because you get to see what life is like and then you can write about it. So I would look for ways to get support as a writer. Um, so there are fellowships you can apply for, scholarships and um, something that we call residencies or colonies, writers' colonies. These are places that you can go to and they'll pay for you to go there and just work, do work. Um, you have to, of course, show them some work and they have to accept you. And I went to several like this and this, these were good places. They were very quiet. I went to... Um, um, different parts of the world. In America, I was in Orlando, in Minnesota. I also went to Norway and Switzerland. Um, and, and these were great places to sit in for a while and just write. And also I could get to see another country, which was quite nice. Um, so I, I think you have to be enterprising about what it is you, you want. I mean, it's one thing to dream, it's another thing to work towards your dream. The working part is a little harder, but without that part, nothing happens. And um, I, you know, you have to work obviously at the writing itself. But besides that, it was also about learning to to find out, well, you know, getting to meet publishers, getting to meet literary agents, um, trying to figure out how the whole business works, how to sell your books, how to, how to find opportunities to promote your work, and and that was the sort of thing that I I had to look for and learn. And how about uh, do your parents? Uh support you of being a writer? Are you crazy? Of course not. <laughs> no, this is so impractical. You can't make money as a writer, right? No, my parents were actually more liberal than most parents, but they still wanted me to have a good job. And, you know, so they thought that when I was going to study literature, that maybe I would be a teacher. <laughs> of course, I didn't want to be a teacher. I didn't tell them that, though.